Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of It, I am Penge, welcome back to Production Line and we are looking at the scenario objectives because joy of joys, we've got one of them completed and I am very happy about this. We have sold 750 mid-range cars, in fact that's a lie, we've sold 772 mid-range cars, we have gone above and beyond the call of duty on selling the mid-range cars because I just, I'm so glad that's there because if we don't complete these two, We've at least got one done. It's not a total dismal failure. We have not failed entirely across the board. At least we've got one thing done. One big tick. Well done us. 100% complete. Now as for the other two, I'm not really that worried about the expensive cars. We'll get that. I think we need, what do we need? 250, uh, 113. Yes, that's right. Math with Penge. 113 more of those and we'll be done. I'm not so worried about that. It's this here. It's this here. It's the volume number of cars. It's almost day nine. So day eight is nearly over. A couple of hours and day eight will be done. So if we day nine, we're well over halfway. Well over halfway toward the end goal of 15 days. Yet we're only a third through our actual target of selling the number of cars, which is not very good. That's not going to help. So yes, we need to try and make efficiency savings where possible. Although I think, I think we've got things as efficient as it can be right now. There's probably some improvements we can make. You know, we could buy extra robots for everything and we can do this, that and the other. So, um, yeah, I think we are sort of, we're getting toward optimal efficiency in terms of the individual units. Um, we might need to do some stuff here with um, branching things apart. So what we'll do is we'll have a little look at where the um, bottlenecks are now and then maybe try and break things apart again, like we did with the painting mechanism. So, you know, that now goes through two different sort of paint channels and rejoins and goes back across here again which is lovely that makes things all nice and efficient in painting because that was where the original bottleneck was i should just close that and get that out of the way that makes it far easier um another thing we need to bear in mind is that this money here looks very very good it's not really our money it all went a little bit wrong last time <laughs> it all went a little bit wrong and we had to take out an emergency loan we had to be bailed out by the bank once again so it gave us two million dollars so it looks like we're doing well we've got one half million dollars but yeah that's not really Really all hours so I'd like to pay that back at some point because it's costing us quite a lot per day and I think what we need to do is we need to look at the type of vehicles we're making because I was having a little look through the market and I spied something that was interesting that I hadn't really realized if I'm completely honest so on the bottom of each of these things each of these little breakdowns of car bodies and price is a bit that says customers per hour and that number there, I imagine, represents the number of customers that have wandered into our showroom and gone, hello, there's car salespeople. Can I please have a car of this type, of this value? And they've gone, ah, well, no, we do, we do sedans. That's all we do. But if you look down the list here, there are three people coming in per hour to look at mid-range sedans. That does not mean three people are going to come in and buy the sedans. They're just coming in to look, which is not very good. That's not very high. Now, if we scroll up and down... SUVs, which we are currently researching, our uh, boffins in the science bit are looking at those. That's got six people per hour coming in to look for a mid-range SUV. And then I think we also want to get compacts in because there are nine people coming in per hour asking about budget compact cars. Nine people. So I think that's what we need to do. We need to get those in as well. So we shall research ourselves the SUVs and then we'll stop making sedans because clearly they're not really working anymore. We're tr struggling to sell them, I think. It's, it's not really working. So we'll get the SUVs in. We'll make a mid-range SUV. And then, while all that's going on, we shall research compact cars and make a budget compact car and hope that that works and hope that it makes us lots of lovely monies. I'm not entirely sure at what defines a compact car. What is a compact car? Can we see? It just looks like a small car. It just looks like a... Is it just a, a sort of... They call it a three-door, don't they? Which I don't really understand because the boot isn't a door. Uh, or the trunk, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, maybe it's just a sort of... Uh, I'd call it a two-door. So, you know, it's got one door on one side and one door on the other side. Maybe that's what they are. Maybe that's what they are. But whatever the case, let's get SUVs done first. Now, that is going to take a little while. And unfortunately, we can't really do much else about it right now because we need that unlocked. What we can do is we can sort this out because there are insufficient resources going on. Now, there's insufficient resources here. What are you waiting for just there? I'm not entirely sure. You could do upgrades, though. Uh, oh, yeah, you have some extra robots. Why the heck not? Yeah, go for it. We've got one and a half million. It's fine. And um, what are you lacking? You're lacking whatever they might be. What are they? Brakes. They're brakes, apparently. So, uh, yes. Oh, hang on. Is this the fit brake section? Yeah, that's probably quite bad that the fit brake section has ran out of brakes. How about we get ourselves a supply stockpile and we put it 
There, why not? Arbitrarily plonk it down. And in here, let's add in many brakes. So let's fill it up. Uh, what's the capacity? 36. Uh, let's have, I don't know, 15 brakes in there then. In fact, you know what? Let's make it 16 because then that means there's probably four brakes on a car. So that means they can have four cars worth of brakes. Okay, so that's quite good. Um, what else do they run out of then? So what are they? A directional light and a sensor. Okay, let's put those in as well then. Um, a sensor and a directional light. I don't know where they are. Where Oh, sensors, right, I can do that. Let's put four of those in. And then a directional light. Are they just under L for light? Ah, there, light. Uh, oh, no, not no, not just regular lights. Add items. Lights, light, where are lights? There, do you break, branch down like that? I don't think it's those type of lights. Um, hang on, I clicked the plus. I thought the plus might break that down a bit. Oh, there you go, it does now. Right, directional light. Yes, please, we'll have uh, 10 of those or something. That's fine, we'll do that. Um, and that's, yeah, that can fill that up quite nicely. And that'll be a useful thing. Okay. Right, let's just move time on because we need to get the research stuff done. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hire out this space here. Lyman's Law. I don't really know what that means. I assume that's what held this uh, building space before we then are going to buy it. So um, it's a 10 by 13 space. It costs 18 per hour. Or is it $18 to buy? And our hourly cost is 2340 I don't know what the $18 is for then. I'm not really sure what that's telling me. Or does it cost me $18 to buy this space? Because if, if it costs that much, that's quite cheap. So I think we'll unlock this because we could put some research things in here. We could put one of the body research things in, which might help quite a lot. But also, we could put a couple of the other research things in. Or certainly, oh, maybe we can't get both in. I want a marketing department. Whatever the case, I want the marketing department in. I think that's going to be way, way more useful than lots of other things. So let's do this. And I don't know how this works. You have an option to expand your facility by taking over a nearby building and expanding your factory into the available space. We're going to expand into the Lyman's Law building. Um, it is, oh, it's $18.65 per square meter, which equates at 2424 per hour. Now, because we've got all this money, I'm just going to give it a go. And it's going to cost us 7900 to actually have a go. Okay, let's do that. Let's say yes, we've now got ourselves some new space. So what we're going to do is... We are going to get ourselves the marketing department. They can sit quite happily at the end just there. And now I need to figure out exactly what they do. What do you do? How do you just do anything? Do you just increase the speed at which they market or what? I don't know what you do. So you cost 52,500. You have six employees. You have some power. Ideas per hour. One. One idea per hour. What am I paying you people? So I don't really know what they do. So hopefully we shall see that come into play at some point. Now I notice quality check has a new thing. Ah, yes. We have the fixing defects thingamabobber. Now this is intriguing, isn't it? Because over here, I think it's this bit here, on the emissions check, if a vehicle then has defects, uh, it just goes along here, up to here, into the sales bit. In fact, there's two there, which is not, this isn't very good, is it really? <laughs> there's two of our cars that are defective. No wonder we're not making any money. Um, so two of those are defective. Now what we could do is, we could build one of these because when they go to here and we send them through, we say, yeah, this is a car. It's a little bit broken. It's a little bit rubbish. You know, the door doesn't shut and the wheels are hanging off and there's only and there's only half an engine. But uh, would you like to buy it anyway? <laughs> People kind of probably are not really that keen on buying them. So we have to offer these defected cars at a bit of a discount. This here can fix them. This can fix the defected cars, which sounds very good. The only thing is we want to then branch them off to go over here to get fixed and then come back again. Now, I don't know how we do that. And I think the Smart Junction had a thing for that, didn't it? Didn't it have a thing where it had defected cars going off? So this might require a little bit of experimentation. And I'm a bit scared because it could all go horribly wrong. But if we do that there, oh my goodness me, it is enormous. So if we put that there, we could have a Smart Junction just underneath there, which says, right, okay, if the car's defective, send it out to the repairing place. If it's not, carry on on your merry way. So I think what we need to do first is come out of that, let's get rid of that, and let's put a smart junction in. So let's see how this is going to work. So it's going to come in, yes, we need to rejig the uh, conveyor a tiny bit, that's fine. So it's going to come in that way, and we go, yes, please. 
35 grand. Now, can we send defective code? Yes, defect mode. I knew that was in there somewhere. I knew the defective mode was in there somewhere. Right, okay. So now we need to take that out. Uh, and we need to get a regular conveyor. And we want that to come out like that. And then up like that. And then to there. And then to there. And then kill that one then. Yeah, okay, right. Hang on. I don't really understand how I'm supposed to do that. Like that, look. Yay, right, okay. And they're, they're pointing the right way, yes. <laughs> the uh, the conveyors do have pointy arrows to tell you which way to go, and I didn't realise that, but okay. So, defective mode. Cars with defects go to the right. So, yep, so we'll have them going to the right. And then we shall put that in just there. Yeah, that'll do. Pop that in just there for 25 grand, ouch. That can go to there. Pop into that way. They can then get fixed, and then they can rejoin just there. They come back down, they're all fixed, then they go that way, and then we won't be selling, hopefully, any broken cars, which is lovely. Right, can this thing be upgraded in any way? Advanced fault diagnosis. What are we looking at now? Enhanced inspection. Is that enhanced fault diagnosis? I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know. Also, we could do with this. We could do with export specialization as well. Yeah, let's get one of those as well. Add that to the queue, please. Right, so we've got that in. I want to see how this works now. I actually want to see how this works. So I kind of want us to get a defective car, although I don't really. <laughs> but if we do, at least we can see what happens and then what they do to it. So no, you're, you're just normal. You're fine. Ah, right. A defective car. Splendid. Right. So what's wrong with it? What is the issue? Defects. Fit wheel severity 147. I don't know what that means, but it's probably really bad. There's probably lots of people that know about cars going... <sighs> Ooh, fit wheel severity 147. Poor, cost you a couple of quid, mate. But now, is it fixed? Uh, guys, <laughs> did, <laughs> did you forget to mend the car? Maybe you didn't realise you were supposed to fix it. It's still broken. Um, okay. I'm not entirely sure that worked. I don't really know what that... That's got... That's defective. Can you fix that, please? It's, it doesn't need a stockpile or anything, does it? It's kind of got a thick... How? Why are we producing so many broken cars? Ah, they fixed that one. Maybe some are just so broken that they can't fix. So maybe that one they're able to fix. This one here has got... Oh, no. See there? Look, that's got a fit rear axle severity of 247. Whatever that means, I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's got one of those. Okay, fine. Oh, what's that mean? Why have we got a thing on there? Sports. Four common features are not included. I think maybe... Maybe it's time to get our sports range in. Oh, insufficient resources, insufficient resources. Um, what's that running out of? Servos. Shouldn't servos be in here? Didn't we put servos in a thing? I thought we put servos in something. 15, 20, 25. Oh, that fills that up. I thought we'd put servos into one of these things. Uh, or was it windows? Or, or something else? I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Might be making it up a little bit. Um... Can we put something in there? What's that? 16, 26, 30. How about we put two servos in there just to have, you know, sitting around. It's fine. A couple of those. It, was it servos? Do you know what? It is now. There we go. Oh, that's a servo. Look, there you go. I was sort of right. It's up there. Okay. Yeah, what's that thing? What's that thing? Windows. Yeah, okay. Import more windows. That would be great if you get more windows in. Now, it's this thing that's taking a long time. Upgrades. Uh, extra robots. More robots. <laughs> Lots more robots. Make that quicker, please. Yeah, now that's our holdup. Fitting the door panels of all the things in the world. Okay, fine. Uh, that's quite a big... That's quite a big unit just there. That, we're, that A big slot, sorry, isn't it, that? That is not going to be easy to have a little branching bit. We'll have to have one up there and one here... That would be very complicated. What does the chief operating officer? I never, I, I never look at this. Let's only need to reduce our production in the mid range. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yes, I'm aware of that. We're on it. We're working on SUV bodies. Twenty six percent. It's just not quick enough. It's all going too slow. So um, right. So we need to get to the sedans. It's still not even day nine yet, though. Come on. It's we've only been do doing stuff for two hours in game. So it should all be fine. We've bought that extra space. A new loan's available. I might need it at some point. Another defective car. So we've bought this. Now these guys, I don't know what they're doing. They've got unused ideas. I don't know how to deploy the ideas. I don't know what that means. How do we use ideas? Is there any marketing? Aha, right. Okay, we've got some ideas. The screen shows you the current crop of ideas your marketing geniuses have prepared and the various campaigns that may or may not be able to run. 
Campaigns differ in their objectives, their cost, their duration, how many ideas are used up when they are launched. Okay, right. So it's a little thing. It's like points that we spend. Um, okay. So everything is unresearched. We've got one facility with two unused ideas and all these things are unresearched. Okay. Am I supposed to see something here that, that I'm just not understanding? Maybe eventually when they get more ideas, something will appear. But I don't fully understand what that means. Okay. Right. Well, well, hopefully that'll make more sense soon. I'm not entirely sure what to do with that information on there right now. But yeah, I'm sure it'll all come good in the end. Um, uh, What are we running out of there? What's that again? What was that thing? What's that there? What is that? The alarm. Oh, the alarm. Can we put another stockpile in to put some alarms and stuff in it? Good grief. Another uh, supply stockpile can fit quite nicely just there. Add item. Alarms. Ran out of those. Let's put 12 of those in. Um, and what else is... What's that? That's a servo. And that's a... Is that just a door? A door panel. So let's add some door panels. How about 10 of those? Yay. So 10 door panels. 12 alarms. And some servos. <laughs> Whatever that does. Uh, I don't know. Eight of them. That'll do for now. Lovely. So we'll try and do that. So that's connected to a thing. Is it? Yeah. So they should... This should start filling up with lovely resources at some point soon. Come on. We've got a stockpile here. Fill up the stockpile. Fill up the stockpile, somebody. Okay, right. It's not, there you go. Lovely. So we've got stuff nearby. We've got a little reserve. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. They're filling up the stockpiles. It's great. Right, okay. That's good. I'm happy with that. Okay, what do we need to do now? What do we need to do? I'm so tempted to put our sports car out there. I really want to put our sports car out there. Do we just do that now? Look at the amount of cars we've got in the showroom. People just aren't buying them. They're just not buying them because they're not interested anymore. Maybe we just drop the price to 35 and just go, look, there we go. And I think now maybe we need to get our sports car in. Let's pause time. Let's go for the sports car. So, right, it's going to have a load of things. So it's saying, yeah, you need all these things. So a sports car is going to need air conditioning. So at the minute, yeah, that that's not a good. That's this is a this is a very affordable sports car at the moment, and that it's free. So we'll have aircon, we'll have headlights, we'll have wipers, we'll have an alarm, we'll have central locking, we will have cruise control. Thank you very much, because it's a sports car. It's supposed to be really exciting. Electric windows, folding wing mirrors, heated. I want all the things. Heaters, keyless entry, leather into. Ooh, hang on, hang on. Power steering, yes. Power tailgate, sat nav. Right, not basic seats. Um, red. Red leather seats, yeah. Split front vent. Uh, yeah, we'll have a split front vent. Hang on, it changed the picture. A mesh front vent or a split front vent or just a vent. Let's have the mesh one. It looks better with mesh. It looks better like that. And then wheels, right. I, I'm very tempted by golden wheels, but that's ridiculous because they're 30 grand. How about high-tech wheels? And there we go. That is, that is our sports car. Right, it... Uh, the percentage loss on that is quite colossal. We might need to put the money up on this. So I think, can we sell those for 40 grand? <laughs> I don't know. Can we sell them for 40 grand? I mean, they're very feature rich. They've got an awful lot of things. Got loads of things in there. We've got all the shiniest things that we've learned. Um, oh, what do we mean no cruise control? No cruise control. Thank you very much. Um, and they have got electric windows. Yeah, okay, fine. So I think it's got everything on there that we want. Just have a little quick check. It's got in-car music. Yeah, it's got power steering. It's got the open top, solid roof or sunroof. Oh no, we'll keep it. We'll keep it at open top. We'll put it. What does that mean? This feature is common at this price level. Oh right. Well, no, we'll have open top because that's exciting. Sat nav, red leather seats, mesh front vent, high tech wheels. Try and sell it for. Do you know what? Let's drop that. Let's put it thirty-seven and a half grand. So we've got a sports car. It is set up. Come out of that. Right. Pause time. Go to the production-y bit and change the schedule. Oh, no. <laughs> Will this work? Uh, no, so we don't want the cheapo. We want... Uh, oh, no. How do we get rid of that? Hang on. Uh, not the cheapo. The sports. Add a new entry. So spend 50% of your time building a sedan. 50% of your time building a sports car. Now, is that what we want? Let's go and check. Oh, we've sold quite a lot of those cars, though. That's quite encouraging. Um, sports. Where's the sports car? There. Yeah, only two people. Only two people came looking for a mid-range sports car. So it's not really going to do that well. So we'll, we'll give this a go. <laughs> we'll see if this works. It might just not work. But it means we are going to be making a sports car, which is very exciting. Apart from 
They're not doing anything. Ah, there you go. They're waiting for parts. They're waiting for bits. So now, have we got a sports car underway somewhere? Although all the cars look the same until they get to over here, because they've not actually got bodies on them yet. They're just sort of bits. <laughs> just little, little, so look, down here, look. Yay, this is your car. Brilliant. It's like a clown car after it's fallen apart. So, right, is that... What's that? That's a sedan. Where's me sport? There, there, there. Sports. Is that a sports car? No, that's a sedan. Which means the one behind it is a sports car. <gasps> What's that? Oh, enhanced inspection. Right, okay. So let's upgrade that. Lovely. And now we're doing export specialization. Okay, good. So hopefully we can do some clever things and get some more, I don't know, more money for the cars we export or whatever. Have you guys come up with anything? Unused ideas, eight. I don't know how to deploy the ideas. I don't really understand that bit. <laughs> It doesn't seem to make any sense. I don't know what to do with the ideas. Um, we are selling our cars very quickly all of a sudden now. Does that come back up? Oh, customers per hour, eight. That's come back up. Okay. Oh, and that one's come back down. But yeah, compacts are still very popular for budgets. Oh, right. Do you know what? I should possibly have paid attention to this a little bit more. <laughs> right. Let's go to there. Go to, no, go to that one. Let's go to the sedan. Can we get rid of this? Because it keeps appearing. Yeah, archive that model. Archive the cheapo so it goes away out of other lists. So let's put that up a bit to 37 and a half. See if we can make some more money off of those, which would be quite welcome. Uh, how much do we need to pay back in the loan? Uh, repay early. 2.1 million plus 100 foot. Yeah, we need quite a lot of money to do that. I don't know what's going to happen right now. Uh, I'm running out of resources again. So really, we are waiting for the SUV body. Although now... I'm not entirely sure we want the SUV body because it's... Oh, now it's gone back up to seven and our sedans have come back down to four. Right, okay. It's constantly changing. You could do the little bit on the side there that shows this. That will be a really useful sort of little overlay or something. But okay. So I think, yeah, we need to get these SUVs in there. There's not a lot else for us to do, really. The research is kind of kicking off. I'm a bit confused by this. I've got 12 ideas, but they're not telling me what they are. <laughs> they're keeping them very, very, very much under wraps, these ideas. So I don't really know what's going on there. So I think what we'll do for now is we'll just run it through until export specialization is complete. So I imagine that's going to beat the SUV body type thing. So yeah, it's going to take a little while. So um, I shall sit back. I shall watch stuff going on and I shall have some tea. Oh, excitingly, I think we've got sports cars coming through. And this is, is that our first one? And it's defective. That's not a good sign, is it? That's not good. So how many of these have we sold? We've sold sports cars, zero. No, none. Sales per hour, none. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I'm glad we did that. No customer's power. All of a sudden, now we're producing sports cars. People just do not want them. Although we have none in stock, which implies that people are buying them. I don't fully understand what this is supposed to be showing me. Yeah, we're making many, many, many cars. Yet, yeah, and they're being sold. So look, there's a sedan. Yep, yeah, they'll look at that, sell that. That's gone into the showroom. That's sold. Here's a little sports car, a little yellow sports car. Oh, and a blue one as well. So that's gone in. And now there's two of them in there. Yeah, this isn't proving my point. There you go, look. So we have sold. There you go, they've just sold. They've sold. So this thing here, ah, okay, right. That's making a bit more sense now. Yeah, so it's not being... Particularly, this isn't updating as, as much as I would like. Ha ha. We have export specialization done. It's unlocked shipping and the thoroughly exciting sounding paperwork. Okay, next project. What do we do? What does that say? I don't know what these things do. I would love a little bit of a tip as to you know, what it actually means. So you go, yay, enhanced inspection. Yep, good. Well, I, I kind of, does that mean that they inspect things quicker or is it slower but better? I don't really know. So computerized sales sounds good. But I don't know what it does. Print marketing. Sounds good. Unlocks the ability to run marketing campaigns in print media. That sounds quite encouraging. But at the minute, we are selling stuff quite well. We are selling stuff quite well. Right, let's have a look. What else do we need? Import priorities. Unlocks capability to import priorities on production slots. Mini supply stockpiles. Even faster resource imports. Now, yeah, that might be useful. Right now, that might be really useful. I know it's not a new shiny thing to put on our cars, but it is a very handy thing to make everything run better. Is there anything in here we really desperately need that everybody else has? We were flagging a bit on the entertainment stuff, weren't we? Is there anything else that lots of people have got that we have not? I don't think so. Unless it doesn't appear when, until we actually, you know, until we unlock it. Anti-lock brakes. Is there anything that's really cheap? <laughs> really quick. Parking sensors. Let's get those. 
Let's add parking sensors. Yes, we'll research those. And let's get... A, I can't believe spare wheel isn't one of the default things. <laughs> surely, surely every car has to have one, don't they? Is that not some sort of rule or a law or whatever? Um, we'll get parking sensors and we'll put a spare wheel in because, you know, we're like that and we're kind like that. And let's get another... Oh, no, then, then we've got those two. Then we'll get... Not that one. Where was it? Um, even faster resource importing. So we'll put that in afterwards. So hopefully, with that in as well, we should see less of the I haven't got any resources because they should be flying along the little conveyor things even quicker, the little sky delivery train things. Okay, so money's looking pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with the monies. So now we just need these marketing people to actually do something. They've got 24 ideas now. <laughs> so many ideas, and they're frightened to use them. Oh, the SUV body is ready. Researching a new body style will create a new design that you can edit on the design screen, but that does not mean any of these designs will be produced unless you schedule production for them. Yes, obviously, I kind of get that. I click on the production start, blah de blah Right, gotcha. Okay, so pause that for now. So we need to pick a new thing for those guys to look at. So you guys get a compact, because they seem popular. Right, hang on, hang on. Let's just go and check that they are still popular. That's the wrong button. Let's press the right button. Okay, so... Yeah, mid-range SUVs, so that's three and three. Not brilliant. Yeah, compacts, look. Six for the budgets, six for the mid-ranges. We really want that. Oh, and a luxury pickup has three. Has <laughs> three people. We do need to start selling some expensive cars, however. Now, could we... Uh, yeah, we can't do that. Look, it's just not good enough. We can't... One customer per hour to sell a, an expensive sports car. That's not really great, is it? Off-road's expensive luxury pickups of the, of the thing which is weird a well, luxury sports car two two per hour we could we could ramp that up a bit oh the suvs are two per hour as well okay because obviously we still need to sell volume but we also need to, to uh, sell expensive or luxury cars we need to sell the uh you know the higher cost cars as well to complete our objectives so uh let's come out of that for now and then let's get those guys researching the compact Yes, please. You guys research that. It might take a while because there's only one of those design studios in because they're quite big. They're very, very big things. Although I guess once we've researched that, let's say we research the compact body, pickups were quite popular. Could we then just get rid of everything? Could we just get rid of these? So we go, yay, research to compact. Good. Let's research a pickup truck. Yay. That means we haven't got small vans or off-road bodies. I'm not too fussed. I'm sure we can still cope. Um, and then we could just get rid of it. And that sort of frees up space. Take the uh, design studio down and put in, I don't know, a research studio or whatever. Two research studios because that would fit two in, wouldn't it? Yeah. That might be what we could do. Okay. Okay. Right. There's a plan there. However, also, let's put this in. I don't know what these do. Paperwork. Who knows what that do? Hang on. What? Hang on. What? This is two export bits. This is two special export areas. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, they're specific slots. Oh my goodness me. Okay. Right, this is a bit of a problem for the maintenance guys. Because we might need to obliterate the maintenance guys. Right, hang on. Right, take this down. Remove this, because I want those in. I want paperwork and shipping. So shipping is that bit, I think. Shipping, yeah, is the is this bit here, which is fine. So, yeah, so it's going to have paperwork in front of it. Hang on, we don't need to destroy anything, do we? We need to, to stop that coming through. Oh, and it blew up the car. It blew up one of our cars. Well, isn't that a doozy? Right, okay, never mind. It's done now. whoopity do. Yeah, that's a bit irritating. <laughs> never mind. Right, and now we can get rid of... Oh, no, we do need to move it round, don't we? I was going to say, we could put it there, but then, yes, it, the, the things can't come in. So we need to move the maintenance guys, blow you up destroy those things then we need to put paperwork just there which i'm entirely happy with that's fine then get the conveyor connect that back up and that can go across into there so that's lovely and then we need a maintenance guy do we need maintenance guys uh yeah they're not up there they're not in that corner which is a bit irritating and then let's put them can we just took them right in that corner though so they're entirely out of the way. So if you have other stuff to add here, yeah, we can. Oh, there you go. Yay, maintenance, guys. Okay, so now we've got paperwork, which sounds thrilling. That sounds like the best thing you can do. And then the shipping bit again. Ah, right, and now we need to get rid of this. Oh, no, what size is shipping? Is it just the same size? Right, good. And then shipping. Now that's slightly different. So 
So these guys do the paperwork and they actually do the shipping. Now, can we make these more efficient? Uh, no. Ah. ah ha, ha. Right. Okay. That's where those things come into play with the computerized sales and all that lot. Right. Okay. So that's in. So hopefully that should now speed things up over there, which is lovely. That's good. Right. What's going on? What's going on? Parking sensors 50%. Right. Let's run it on because nothing really much for us to do until maybe even until even faster resource imports is done because we've got nothing to do i'll put the parking sensors on that'll be fine we'll put those onto the cars that we're making we'll put the spare wheels on and then even faster resource imports will help that'll be lovely oh look at the amount of yellow look at the amount of insufficient resources yeah do you know what do you know what i'm tempted to just put that to there just to stop this problem just to try and alleviate this problem a tiny bit. So, um, yeah, okay, let's let's leave it running. That's, that's, I didn't want to do that. Let's leave it running until even faster resource imports is completed. I've just realised something. While I've been waiting, I mean, it's nearly complete. Even faster resource imports is nearly done. Yep, there we go. And 100% lovely. Right, okay. So now that's done. So we should see these things coming down a bit. These yellow sort of I'm out of resources things should be alleviated a tiny little bit, hopefully. But let's put time down to normal speed because I realised that I haven't been doing the, the whatever it is that we unlock. SUV is SUV. Is that what we did? The one at the bottom? Yes, the SUV bodies. We haven't got those. Ah, and also I've made some changes to the um the price of the sports car. I've put it up to expensive and we are selling them. They are going, which is lovely. So we're actually managing to sell some expensive things, which is good toward our goal. Look, we're 144. 1,223 cars. Again, it's not, that's not great. It's not fast enough. It just is not quick enough. So we need to do something about that as well. I don't quite know what to do about that right now. But yeah, we can keep selling these expensive cars. That would be great. Because that means, obviously, we have to complete this goal. But also, it gives us more money. It gives us more lovely cash. So these things here, the SUVs, are going for budget ones. We've got four per hour. But the budget sedans, we've got six per hour people coming in to ask about those. So at the moment, the SUVs are now no longer the popular thing. Compact is still very popular. But yeah, so now, sedans seem to be kind of in. Sedans and expensive sports cars customers per hour five that's brilliant now i put the price up i didn't look at this <laughs> it's just pure chance uh, it's pure fluke go us so yeah it's at one per hour for a mid-range five for expensive which is fantastic so that's very good news so yeah hopefully we can sell quite a lot of those um yeah i want the marketing guys to do something now as well so we're researching a spare wheel that's fine so now we're going to go to processes marketing guys can you do something because i don't really know what the point of view is now so let's add that to the queue and we'll add tv marketing to the queue as well because i don't really know what the point is of these <laughs> you don't seem to do anything you're not actually achieving anything for us and over here let's put can we get a couple of research things in a couple of uh is it design no which one is it which one do we want research off at the research center that's it they cost 110 grand each but they generate a lot of research points and i think that's where we're lacking so we could put a couple of those in and it would leave a bit of a space at the bottom end so yeah so that'd be three that would be yeah so it would leave oh, could we can we flip it around can we do it a bit like that yeah they fit together quite nicely don't they don't they slot together in some way yeah, sort of like that. So they take up quite a lot of room, though. So they're one... Hang on, how wide are they? One, two, three, five long. So they are five long. Okay, right. How much room does that leave us there? Three. Uh, that will fill that up. Yeah, we might have to do it, though. We might have to go for it and just go, do you know what? Let's bite the bullet. It's fine. There'll be some space down the side, which is not so bad. Yeah, we can't fill it like that because that's just making it go weird. So, yeah, so let's have one there, then. Because I think this is now key. We need to get more stuff researched. These are very expensive. And we can always remove them again if we need to. Right, one of those there. And another research centre goes just there. It's a bit of a hit for the monies. But now, research points are going to go up, 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 up. Which is lovely. Right, move time on very, very quickly. More research now, boffins. <laughs> Do more research. Spare wheels should be going an awful lot quicker. And then I want to get print marketing in. So... At the minute, oh, there's still insufficient resources of many things. Come on, do stuff quicker. So, um, right, what we'll do is we're going to have to leave it again because now there's nothing really much to do. We're just letting it tick over. We're letting it tick over. Oh, the SUV body, do we... Right, hang on, hang on. How's it looking now? 
SUVs. Oh, hang on. Pause, pause, pause. Everybody wants mid-range SUVs. Nine customers per hour want those. That's it. We're putting a mid-range SUV on the thing. Uh, right, okay. SUV. Um, yes, air conditioning, automatic headlights, wipers. We'll put a car alarm in. Right, what makes it mid-range? Right, so about there. That's the top end of mid-range, is it? So 40, 44 grand. Wowee, that's great. Central locking. We'll put cruise control on. Yeah, because that'll make it slightly more appealing. Uh, electric windows we've got to. Heater we've got to. Um, heated wing mirrors, yes. Keyless entry. Leather interior, do we put that on? It does knock our profits a bit, but yeah. Uh, music. Uh, yeah, we'll have in-car music. Power steering. It's got a big red... Uh, the feature is universal at this price level. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we'll put it in. Don't worry. Parking sensors. What else is that? One common feature is not included. Sunroof. All right, we're on it. We're on it. Sunroof. Yay. Uh, we'll give it powered steering adjustment, whatever that is. We'll give it a sat nav. Uh, we'll give it an exciting mesh vent because that's good. And we'll give it five point wheels because that looks fancy pants. So I think yeah, we won't give it a powered tailgate. Uh, what else do we want to not give? We won't give it folding mi wing mirrors. It's all fine for now. Um, we do make quite a lot on it, though. Are you sure we don't want to give it fun? Let's just give it fun. Yay, there we go. <laughs> it doesn't cost that much. It's fine. So we'll do that. So the only thing really it's missing is the auto steer headlights, which I'm not really sure what they are. <laughs> How do headlights steer? And a powered tailgate, which is fine. People don't need that with one of these, do they? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Right. So that's in. So now what we need to do is, so we've got that created, go to there, change the schedule, Add an SUV. So now we're going to produce a sedan, a sports car, an SUV. And that's cool. That's good, right? So that's a nice thing. So we'll do that and we'll see how that goes. We've got a new car. We've got a new car on the line, which is very exciting. So that's making a sedan. That's making a sports. And now an SUV. We've got a new shiny car. In some market segments, you're producing more cars than there are customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Don't tell me that again. I know. Stop pointing out my failings, chief executive man. Okay, so compact body is now researched. I don't really need any more of those things. I don't need any more. I could now get rid of that if we just uh, come out of that for a sec. So let's take a nosy. I don't really want to make pickup trucks. I don't need to make off-road bodies and I don't need small vans. Do we want these vent styles? Do we really care? Front vent style none or turbine spoke wheels, which I don't even know what that means. Do, we, do people really want those? You could put them on a sports or a sedan. I mean, that, when we do make those, that's fine. But I'm not really that bothered. I don't really care that much. So I think what we might do is get rid of our design studio. I don't need any more things. It's fine. So we can get rid of this and then put in another one of those, I think. Yeah, it'll fit just there. There'll be a bit of a gap just here, a bit of a wasted space, but that's fine. So we could do this. I think this is absolutely the right thing to do, he says, thinking it might be the wrong thing to do. Let, uh, and we just, we, just, we just did it. There we go. <laughs> it's gone. And a research centre fits quite nicely just there. And there's room for something else just there. There's room for a little extra thing. If we need to put something else in, we can put one of those there. But now even more research points. That's another two research points. Print marketing is nearly done. It's nearly done. And how are we looking? 187 expensive cars. 1,303. 43%. It's not quick enough. But we do have print marketing now, which is good. So, yeah, we can do... We've got TV marketing coming up. Okay. Does that mean we can do something here? Ah, right. Okay. So, brand awareness campaign for 24 hours. Uh, it's a print media thing. So we'll print out some leaflets and stick them through people's doors and they can immediately become recycling. Uh, effectiveness is not great. It costs 40 ideas. Okay, I see now. It's going to cost 400... 400k! And it lasts 24 hours for an effectiveness of 38%. Good grief. However, an awareness campaign boosts your general brand image, resulting in larger numbers of customers visiting your showroom and considering purchasing your cars regardless of model. Shall we do it? Yeah. Hey, we just did it. Right, good. Okay, so now I think in this gap here, let's put the marketing department down. Let's just pop another load of you guys in like that. Oh, look, it looks lovely. Look at the marketing guys. <laughs> look at comfy sofas and boards with things on and filing cabinets. Oh, and they, all, they, they sit on beanbags because they're cool. They're marketing. They're blue sky thinking. And these guys here are just working with, you know, flasks of blue stuff whilst working on cars. Right, so now we should see more people coming into the showrooms. 
which is lovely. So we should, in theory, be able to up things. Oh, look at the compacts. Do we start making a compact? Yeah, the mid-range SUVs are not selling at all, but compacts, budget compact. That's, yes, we're going to make one of those as well. Budget compact, now is your time. Uh, let's go here, a compact. Right, so how much is budget? So what's the top price of budget that we can get? So a budget compact, 24 and a half grand, I think it's probably the most because 25 is mid-range. Okay, so 24 and a half for a budget compact. Uh, it needs some basic things. So it needs aircon. Gotcha. It needs a car alarm. Uh, let's give it uh, wipers to make it a bit more appealing. Uh, we'll give it a car alarm. Uh, what do they expect? Uh, car alarm. I've put, hang on. Car alarm's in. Sorry, yes. Uh, heater and power steering. Um, do you want to give it cruise control? Yeah, give it cruise control. Central locking. Electric windows. None of those. So a heater is required. We'll put some music in for you guys because I'm kind like that. Power steering, Yes. Everything else, not really that bothered. <laughs> not bothered. Five point was, no, that's very expensive. Front vent, don't really care. Spare wheel, sat nav, power tailgate, powered steering adjustment. I don't know what that does. I'm going to put it in because it might make it more appealing for people. Um, and that's our parking sensors. And that can be our compact. Our budget compact can be like that. I like that idea. And then that means we can start selling those. And that is good for us. So, right, so now we can go down here and go... No, that's clicking on something else. There we go. Right, change the schedule again. Add a new entry. So now we're going to produce a sedan, a sports car, an SUV, and a compact. Which is excellent. I'm, I like this. This is very, very good. Right, okay. Speed time on. Now, yeah, there is a bit of a queue going on, isn't there? The queue is up here. I did add some more um, robots to this. Of course, that doesn't help. The being broken down doesn't really help. I added some more robots to the um, the fit steering wheel bit. Because that's kind of where... Do you know what, though? To be fair, it's not really holding up too much. They're getting on with it. Look, they're actually flying through fairly quickly, I would say, with that. Actually. So, okay, so that's looking good. We've got our new cars in. We've got the budget cars coming in. Now, one thing I was thinking was... One thing I was thinking was just to increase efficiency and speed. And I'd have to have a look through to see how we could do it. We could, in theory, create the budget SUVs or one of the budget things, maybe the budget compacts, in here. We've got room in here. And we could go, right, okay, budget things, bibbly bobbly boo, in here, stick everything next to each other and just have these bits. I have a chassis assembler pointing directly next to fit body, next to paint, next to engine, next to accessories, next to electronics, and then pour it into here. So have it looping around as much as we can and have it going to just here and then that can go through the regular process of the, the, the fancy pants sort of uh, quality checking and then that's another production line kicking in making lots of things making more cars because this is now our problem this number here we're on day 10 we're not even halfway so we're almost two well we are we're two thirds of the way through the thing through the actual goals but we're not halfway through the number of cars sold which is bad. So we need to sort that out. So I think that's that might be what we have to do. The only thing is, I need to make sure that when we put the slots in, if we do, you know, fit engine and or where where are the alarms? I don't really know. So fit electronics, that's got to be alarms. We need to actually figure out which bit adds the alarms. Because if it's a particular bit, like do they go into fit doors? I think it might fit doors. Not entirely sure. <laughs> I don't really know. Fit radiators, fit exhaust. I don't really know, but I assume they go somewhere. That's lights, that's horn. Is that where they fit the alarm? There's a whole section just fitting a horn. Just in a whole bit, just do it with something else. Um, so yeah, seats and all that kind of, ooh, X robots for you. Absolutely, yes, more robots. Um, so yeah, so I think that might be what we do. That might be a thing. Because then that would mean we have another production line here that's making more stuff. And that's twice the amount of vehicles being produced, which might just save us. It might stop us from going horribly, horribly bankrupt. I was going to say, let's wait for the TV marketing to get done, because I'm intrigued with looking at that. And we get to pick another research thing. Movie marketing is going to be ridiculously expensive. Okay, what do we go for now? Computerized sales is a slot at paperwork. What does it do? We'll pause time for a sec. What does it do? Paperwork. Upgrades. Computerized sales. Oh, it just speeds it up. It speeds it up by 48 seconds. Yeah, I'm not, not that bothered. 
there's not much of a queue just there right now. It's all fine. If anything, the queues are sort of along here. Can we upgrade any of this? Not really. Any upgrades along there? Extra robots. But other than that, it's all it's all kind of up here. Um, okay, let's get some more things to put on the cars then. That's what we'll do. We'll put some more things on the cars. What are people going to want? Adaptive cruise control. Heated seats. There's only 1,165. That's quite tempting, isn't it? Yeah, have that. Um, any of the cheap ones. A panoramic sunroof. Add that to the queue because it's easy and quick. Anything else? Powered seats. I don't even know what that is. Uh, powered to do what? I don't know. <laughs> Plug your phone in or something. We'll add that to the queue. And then we'll get some more entertainment stuff. Uh, let's get ourselves voice recognition. Bluetooth. Bluetooth support. That's really useful. So we'll get a few of these. And then we've got these performance things. I don't know what they do. <laughs> Electric power drive. I don't know what that means. Um... Okay, a spoiler. Yeah, fit a spoiler onto the sports car. So I think that's pretty good. So we'll have panoramic sunroofs, powered seats, Bluetooth phone support. Right, let's let's just get all those in. What I want to do is, they won't be that long either. Look at it. It's go, oh, the heated seats is 10% through already. So let's get those four things done. And then we shall come back. Also, we're looking pretty good for money. Check that out. Um, so yeah, so we'll come back when those four technologies are unlocked. There's a thing popped up that says global resource price change. There has been a global change in the availability of paint. The price has changed by minus 33%. Now it stands at 181. That's splendid news, isn't it? That means that the that, that paint is 33% cheaper, which, which is good for us. So it means we should get even more money. You may need to take this into account into your pricing and feature availability. Well, absolutely. That's lovely. Right. So stuff is, is, is absolutely cracking on. They're getting on with the Bluetooth phone support. But I've not put all the shiny things on all the cars. So a few things have got, you know, the uh, the powered seats and a few things have got. In fact, I think it's only the SUVs that have got the panoramic sunroof and all that kind of stuff. So things are going quite well now in terms of monies. So I keep looking at this. I keep thinking at some point we're going to be able to afford this. We're going to be able to pay this back, but then we will have no money to do anything else at all. And I kind of want to put my master plan into play. We might do that next time out. But um, yeah, I just want to get this done. I just want to get that through. And um, let's just take a look at the um, the sales thing. Let's take a look at the markets. We've got all sorts of cars going on now. So we've got our, our budget compacts which apparently haven't sold anything, but I think that might be a bit of a fib. Oh, look at that, 90 visits to the showroom. So 11 people interested in the mid-range sedans, which is quite good. We're not producing enough of those. Uh, SUVs, we're kind of producing the right amount of those. We're producing the right amount of expensive cars. And yeah, the compact thing, that's, that's not really right, is it? We've produced probably many of those by now, surely. Surely that's just talking whiffles. There we go. So we've produced two of those. We're just not making enough things. We're not making enough cars. Oh, and that doesn't help that it's broken down. What can be broken down in there? Seriously. <laughs> it's, just, it's just people. There's nothing in there to break down. Right. Okay. So, Bluetooth phone support. We'll apply that to the right slot. What wants Bluetooth? The sports car obviously has Bluetooth. The uh, budget car does not. Let's put it onto the other two just because we can. So, apply those options. Lovely, lovely. Right. It's looking very good. Right, our research people are not doing anything. Let's pick a research thing, and then that will be it for this part, I think. How about, then, we get ourselves... We don't want to do any manufacturing. Don't really care about that. Not bothered. We're making enough money to not have to manufacture stuff. So all this is sort of irrelevant. We don't want that. Next generation paint compressors. Uh, that's probably going to speed up the painting process a bit, but it is quite slow. It's 4,500. Polished paintwork is a new slot. I'm not that bothered about that. That's more manufacturing stuff. That's more manufacturing stuff. So really, we're just down here again now. Super fast resource importing. That sounds good. Preventative maintenance sounds quite good as well. So stuff doesn't break down. I quite like the sound of that. Let's get super fast imports and then preventative maintenance. That sounds good. And then we'll start getting some of this stuff as well. And then maybe we come down here. Oh, this is all manufactured. I don't really care about manufacturing. High power plant output. I suppose we could get rid of some power plants, I assume. I don't know quite what it does. But yeah, yeah, that might be good. So yeah, I think that's what we do for now. We get those in. So make our resource importers really super fast. Then we get preventative maintenance, which hopefully means that things break down even less, which is lovely. And then that'll be that for that. I think we need to do this. I think we need to start another supply chain thing, another sort of uh, thing, production line. In fact, we need to start another production line. I don't know if that 
is going to be the room for it, though. I'm not entirely sure. Because I would like to turn the, the value things off here, so the budget things off of here, and see if we can get the budget thing fitting into here. And if we can, just churn out budget vehicles up here. Just go, yeah, budget vehicles, yay, and put them onto the line and sell them quickly. I think that'll be perfect. And this thing here can make the sports cars and all the slightly more flashy things because it's got all the right slots to do so. And that there can just go, yeah, whatever. We're just making basic things. You don't need all these fancy pants slots for that. Just basic stuff. So I think that might be what we do. We'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. But things now are going very well in terms of monies. However, in terms of this, uh, we're all right for, for the expensive cars. We'll get that. I'm fairly confident we'll get this. Yeah, this, this, we're just under halfway, 47% of the way there, but we're two thirds of the way through in terms of time. So this is going to be the big push now, isn't it? To just get volume of cars out. And we sort of suspected that from quite a few parts ago, but okay. So we know what we need to do. I mean, it may be eventually that we hire out one of these. We hire out Lobster Nets International <laughs> for 6,900, and that's quite expensive, but that's the only one that we can fit in that way that would work there, I suppose. We'd have to move that maintenance department out of the way, but that could also slot nicely into the uh, into the out bit just there because these ones aren't going to work, are they? I suppose you could have something going around here and popping into the bit. Oh, no, but you can't. No, because that's in the way. That's in the way. You need all these bits. Look, you need one of those there. You need a shipping bit. But yes, that's something we will have to think about next time. Oh, look at that. 2265. Yeah, there's an awful lot of options. There's a lot of options, but yeah, that's something we need to ponder. So now it's just come down to volume, but yeah, we'll do that next time. I really hope you're still enjoying this and it's not too frustrating because I think that actually went okay. I don't think I did anything too completely idiotic right then. If I did, I do apologize, but I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in production line. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. How much cake did you have? Not a lot, you bugger off to the door! Blah! Can I be sick down our back? Oh good, there's nothing creepy about some mysterious, ethereal humming. Oh no, mum's been on the gin again. Mum's been on the gin and she's been watching rom-coms. Oh mum, no, what have you done?